Come on, bud. My name is Kevin, and I live in Reno, Nevada. I work as a production associate at a t-shirt design company. Helping Kevin on his house hunt for his tiny home is his best friend and co-worker, Tim. <laughs> I support him in his uh, idea of downsizing and definitely trying to live a simpler life, but I definitely couldn't do it myself. I'm actually six foot seven, um, so uh, I'm interested to see if I'll fit through the doorway in some of these houses. My budget is $225,000. When looking for tiny houses, I'd prefer a foundation home as opposed to one on wheels. Tiny houses on wheels tend to sacrifice something, closet space, amenities. So what I'm looking for is something with kind of a more modern feel that has all the amenities of a regular house. I do want to make sure that my tiny home has enough privacy that I'm not packed in with a bunch of neighbors kind of peering in on me. That looks a little too busy for a yard. And your dogs would tear that up in a second. Kevin is working with local real estate agent Barry Lynn, who wants to first show him a new model home in a tiny house community in the center of Reno. It's like a little tiny neighborhood in here. It is. I'm not sure how I'd feel about living in the middle of the city. I was kind of hoping for something a bit more remote. But they're bigger than I thought they would be. This is a brand new tiny home community. These are all still under construction, but I do have a model that I can show you. Perfect. What are they asking for them? The price is just 219,000. Dude, under budget. They're very nice. How big are they? 650 square feet. Nice. Is there a garage that comes with the houses? Yes, each house comes with a single car garage. Okay. Oh, man, I love the windows on the door. Oh, wow, it really opens up once you get in here. Yeah, it's bigger than I thought it would be. It's almost big enough for you. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> There's a bedroom on the main level, but you have a sleeping loft upstairs with a closet, so you have a choice of where you can put your bed. The neighbors are right there. I don't know how I feel about them looking in on me all the time. I can see into their bedroom. Yeah, I don't know if I want to be that close of neighbors. And this is the bedroom? This is one of two sleeping areas in the house. Uh, okay. This one has a sliding glass door to the backyard. Ooh, that's small. I don't think the dogs would get enough room to run around back there. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, it'd be good for like an emergency or if they needed to use the restroom, but I wouldn't leave them out there for a longer period of time. I really like the overall layout of the place. The neighborhood that they've set up here seems really great. So a few of the things that I'm not so sure about are being so close to my neighbors where I could open up a window and wave to them. The backyard, I don't think is a great fit for the dogs. Yeah, and the downstairs bedroom is a little tiny. And you mentioned the washer and dryer being a little small as well. That's true. And remember, this is a model. You can customize your flooring and tile choices. I really like that. I definitely like that it's under my budget and that I can customize it. And I really like the fact that they're brand new houses. That's amazing. I I was hoping for something more remote without noisy cars. traffic. Today, real estate agent Barry Lynn is showing him something that's over budget, but is a very unique space. Oh man, this garage looks really cool. Yeah, you wanted a garage. Definitely. It's 682 square feet. It's listed at 279,000. Okay, well that is a bit beyond my budget. It is just one bedroom, but there is a small basement, a nice little yard, and there is some extra off-street parking in the back. That basement would be a lot of fun. Oh, dude, check this place out. Hey. This is great. I told you this was a unique place. Yeah, you should get one of those old-timey soda pop machines. I'd have to, I think. This wall is absolutely phenomenal. Those are reclaimed floorboards from the old store. No way. Hey. That is so cool. I like how high the ceilings are, too. Definitely opens it up and makes it feel more expansive. Kitchen, the bathroom, and the systems have all been updated. I definitely like how open this kitchen is. Fridge looks a little small. Is it standard? It's a space saver fridge, but you do have a full-size stove and a dishwasher. Uh -huh. This is one of the original lights from when this was a grocery store. That is so cool. Oh, and they got a stackable washer dryer. Dude, these save so much space. Yeah, this bathroom is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And it's a shower-bath combo. You can wash the dogs in the tub. True. Well, they stay in the tub. <laughs> That's always the rub. <laughs> you said there was a basement, too? There is a basement. Uh, after you, Tim. No, I've seen my fair share of horror movies. You go first. Ah, uh, fine. Yeah, you're gonna have to watch your head here, Tim. Why? What do you mean? Uh, you'll see. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, no, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> There's, right. like, no clearance. Maybe bedroom? This is really just best for storage. Yeah, it's a pretty big letdown. I was really hoping I could do something else with this space. Yeah, I'm thinking storage. <laughs> I think it's a very unique property. The fact that it used to be a corner store is amazing, and I love what they did with that wall, bringing in the old wood planks. After they go grab a soda from your soda shop, they can come out here and hang out on the really cool patio that you have. That patio is amazing, and I definitely could see me putting that to good use. The basement is a little bit short and kind of spooky. I can definitely see the dogs being very happy here, but I am worried that it's too much over my budget. 
And don't forget, you don't have a ton of privacy. That is true. I would wake up essentially to people driving their cars or walking past. Real estate agent Barry Lynn has now found Kevin another tiny option with more privacy. Pretty quiet neighborhood. Kind of cozy. So here's the yard for your dogs. Oh, absolutely. They would love this grass. This is a 700 square foot, two bedroom, one bath home. It doesn't have a garage, but it does have a driveway that fits two cars. It also has this wonderful porch and a small backyard area as well. OK, perfect. I really do like the brickwork, but it's not really the modern look that I want. What are they asking? It's listed at $259,000. Ooh. I know it's a more traditional home than you had wanted, and it's over your budget, but it's so beautiful inside. Yeah, look at that. Oh, nice. Look at all this space. Yeah, the ceiling's just tall enough. Yeah, you would check that. A couple of couches here, and they even fit a sectional. It has original hardwood floors, and everything else has been updated. The hardwood floors are beautiful. Very true. Oh, wow, there's actually a lot of space in here. You can put any size bed in here. This room has two windows and a walk-in closet. This room might be a little too big. You what? Wow. Dude. There is a ton of space back here. Right? You could put a hot tub back here. Cigar in one hand, drink in the other, snow starting to fall. You paying? Uh, maybe. <laughs> you know, when we first got here, I was a little hesitant because it didn't match the style that I wanted. But that front area with the grass would be perfect for the dogs. I really like that kitchen and what you can do with that area and that living room. Perfect size. This house might be a bit too big for me, though. I'll tell you one thing I didn't like is it doesn't come with a washer and dryer. And the hookups for the washer and dryer are in a tiny closet. After seeing several very different ways to go tiny, will Kevin stay under budget or spend extra money for privacy and a backyard? You know what? I'm going with the urban tiny. It's a good choice. It's just enough space for me and the dogs. And I can customize it. Awesome one's poker night. Dude, as soon as I move in. Let's do it. I really like the vibe in your new place. You want out the stakes? Bet your house? Hit me, no. <laughs> <laughs> I moved in a month ago, and after getting settled, I absolutely love this place. It is perfect for me. The final purchase price was $219,000, which was right under my budget. The fact that no one else has been here and the fact that I could customize everything makes it my own. I got to pick the backsplash, the countertops, and the flooring, which was great. Kevin decided to use the upstairs loft as a TV room and kept the downstairs space as a bedroom. I was concerned about the privacy, but after moving in, it's really not an issue. I got some blinds up, and it's just perfect. This new kitchen is fantastic. My favorite thing about this house is definitely the food prep area. Oh yeah, this is coming out great. Being between the stove and the sink makes food prep super easy, and it's just amazing. Let's go play. Oh. The only real compromise that I had to make after moving in was the backyard. There's no grass area for the dogs, so I have to take them to the park. I think Kevin made a great decision. The kitchen's a great setup for him, and the living room's awesome. Tiny home fits him really well, and I can see him cooking and entertaining here quite often. Oh, what? oh Logan, come here. Come wow. on. Wow. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. This house is great for having people over. I got a meal ready, some tacos. You guys want a beer? Yeah. You know, we're going to have to have a house party at some point. A tiny-themed housewarming party. You should send out tiny invites. For a normal size invite, just have me hold it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs>